Hello, this is Shirat Abraham. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to update your Microsoft e email. So there's a um, couple of steps. Um, first step is to go to your Microsoft account online. And once you sign in, you go to your information, which I am already in it. Then go click manage how you sign in to Microsoft. It's asking for your password and probably some other security stuff. Then you're going to see the old email. Let's pretend this the old one. And I want to take this out for some reason. You're going to hit add new, add email. If you have an Outlook email, you type it in here. If you have other like Yahoo's or Gmail's, you will do it down here and the add an existing email address as a Microsoft account alias and hit add alias. I'm going to cancel that because I already, I don't need to do that. All right. Once you have those emails and uh, that update, uh, remove the one you don't want and keep the other one as your primary. Okay. Once that is done, now you need to update the email on the windows. And of course it's the part that many people can have difficulty on. And uh, just a reminder, please subscribe and like my videos if you do. If you don't, well, no, don't. And please say comment below for new ideas and recommendations. Thanks. All right, now continue on. We're going to go down here to start. Click, click settings. And then we're going to go to account. And that's probably the same one you've seen when you log into your and uh, sign into your computer in the beginning. You'll see the old emails right here, the old one. So again, let's pretend it's the old one and you want the new one. Uh, what we're gonna need to do is to sign in with a local account instead and then back to a Microsoft account. How to do that? You'll click here first, sign in with a local account instead. That will convert that to a local account. And you know, that's how you should want to switch to a local account. You click next. It's going to ask you for the, uh, come again, for your uh, computer logging in pin. You type it in. And it's, I'm not going to continue because this is the only one, I, this is the only computer I have, the only email, so I don't want to be switching around back and forth. However, so after this, they're going to ask you for a username and new password. And the password, I kept everything the same, so I won't get confused. And the username, I kept that as default because uh, that's, um, that's the same uh, username that is in my folders. So I don't want to switch it because then all my files and settings are going to get, you know, reset it. So I kept uh, the username as default. And I kept everything you know, the same password. Let me cancel this. After you do that, um, Restart the computer. Log in just the way you log in, the regular way. And then you're gonna back back here. When you go back here, and still having this option of local uh, signing with a local account instead, it's gonna have the option of signing in with your Microsoft account. So once you sign in with your Microsoft account, that's when you type in your the email you updated to and the password okay and after that and uh, restart the computer again and you should be good to go let me see if i'm missing anything i'm checking my notes here let's see yes sign in let's see switch it to the local account it's going to ask you for username and password. And also a hint. Let's see. The hint, if you want to type in, you don't need the hint. And then after that, you restart the computer. And you go back in, log back in. Go to sign in and switch it to same window here. 
and you're gonna type to click sign in with the Microsoft account instead. It's gonna ask you for your new email. That's when you type in your new email, and of course keep every, all the everything else the same, and just pretty much follow the instructions, and that's it. Okay, so I hope this helped a lot. Please comment and subscribe, and thank you. Have a good day, guys.